TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the Tennessee Titans. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? Fielded right around the eighth. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. First carry for the Clemson man, Travis Etienne. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. These two teams, they met up earlier in the year, back in week two. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. ETN. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. So, Charles, you talk about this head coach and his future with this franchise. Uh, look, it's been a frustrating year, and I think we saw some of that frustration boil over at his weekly press conference earlier in the week. Yeah, he's trying to say all the right things, isn't he? But he's heard the rumors. He knows what's going on out there, and right now, he is tired of having to answer the question, are you on the hot seat in every meeting with reporters? This week, he kind of said, I've had enough, and I don't blame him. He looks like a guy that may very well be out the door. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football but at the same time you're looking at them and going where are the weaknesses how are we going to move it one of the top defenses in the nfl for a reason we just saw one example right there so good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38 for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Well, this defense for the Jags, they were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. And I don't know what the actual percentages are, and I don't know the analytics when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. But coaches always say, when you create a number that high, your chances of winning, probably up over 98%. I haven't seen that number quantified, but I believe them. Henry again on second down. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, 
while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. Now a play fake here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. they got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game. And you know what it is? Let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down they're going to look to throw nowhere to go here he lost the football and did the Jaguars come up with it they did so a first quarter fumble in the rain, and this isn't supposed to let up. They've had flash flood warnings just west of here, so they better get used to this. And it's hard to do real early in the game because you're so amped up and you're trying to do so much. You've got to get used to it, though. You've got to focus in on the ball, make sure you're taking care of it. That one cost him. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On second down, ETN once more. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there no gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten well done to sniff that out defensively he had it diagnosed pretty quickly i love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one read his keys made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football and it's intercepted at the goal line Picked up by Caden Stearns. And the Titans are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seventh. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. 
Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Rodgers brings it in. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. A first down carry for Henry. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 41 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. And we were down on the field watching Henry warm up before the game. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. Yeah. I and mean, you get him out of pads and just see him in a regular suit or an outfit, he is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, touchdown Titans! A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had to put it back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, <laughs> man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. You know, you're following up on this head coach and the pressure that he is under. CD, I want to switch it to you because you've been on winning teams, but I know you've been in similar situations too where things just are not going well. How do you approach that as a player? It's a tough approach, Brandon, because you actually have to do the opposite of what you would think. You know, in your mind, you're thinking, I redouble my efforts, I go harder. In a sense, you have to back off a little bit. You have to do a little bit less. Do what you're supposed to do, but don't take on the pressures of doing more and trying to do your teammates' jobs as well. If you do that, that's really going to lead you to more issues. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Same result as last play, 14 yards and another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And Short pulls it in. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Christian Fulton. And the Titans are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Boy, Charles, that is now three interceptions in three consecutive drives. And you can see he's just got a look of disgust and bad body language, understandably, as he walks off the field. 
and I think it comes from the fact that he's not sure what he sees down the field, Brandon. I don't know if he's seeing ghosts. I don't know if he just can't read defenses. I'm not sure what it is, but that's why he's frustrated. And think about the defense right now. Every time they run on the field, they've gone from hoping to intercept the pass to expecting to intercept passes. Their confidence at an all-time high right now. Second and six. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Josh Allen able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. After the penalty, it's Henry. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, these two teams met in Nashville earlier in the year with the Titans coming away victorious. So a win here in Jacksonville would give them the season series. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 67 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Back to throw. Escaping. The, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Josh Allen in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Now back to throw. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation. Well, did they have a much better chance of picking up? They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Yeah, Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. plays fourth and one that's who wants it more this time the offense yeah there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there right a lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space who's going to drop their hips gain leverage and move the other side backwards we saw it there for the offense getting it done they'll say no gain on the play and it'll be second and goal it in with Henry and he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown Derrick Henry his sixth touchdown of the season and the Titans are going to add on to their lead footing always a concern but the extra points up and good and that'll make the score 14 to zip out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away.
The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. A give running right, ETN. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. He let one slip away last week as well, so now two fumbles lost in as many weeks. Well, we were out at practice, and we watched him work. And what did his quarterback coach talk about all week? Being a two-hand monster. And we looked at each other. Two-hand Oh, I get it. Two-hand monster. Both hands on the football, taking care of it, putting it away so the ball doesn't get dropped. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. play action they'll throw they'll roll him out right now he'll let it go deep right side and this is caught and he'll be out of bounds a big connection on that one 33 yards there's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season he's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there and he will score touchdown Titans a great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Titans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call. But they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. Here's second and ten. Play action. It's Jackson. He's going to let it go again. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Caden Stearns. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. 
So they will accept the penalty and move forward. They'll look to throw now on first down. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. So we reach halftime here with the visiting Titans taking the lead into intermission. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half from the 10. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They'll set up to throw. Flush to his right. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain and now second down. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. to Henry. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Again, it's Henry. Got this down to the 35. 96 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They go play action here on first down. He'll buy some time right. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Schultz. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Again to Henry. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. They'll drop to throw. Got it complete to Rodgers. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And the ball is knocked out. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. 
Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Titans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and it is 28-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A handoff running left is ETN. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Another toe for ETN. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Here's Jackson. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Caden Stearns. And the Titans are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, Try and get fresh legs in where you... And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Titans. 2-2 Atwell, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Titans...